So in general, how can we describe a line? Well, we know that lines are defined using two points. So we need at least two points to define the line. In this case, those points will be vectors, u and v. So we can actually get the equation of the line based on tu plus 1 minus t times v. And this can be rewritten as v plus t times u minus v. So either one of these are valid ways to actually describe a line. So here's an equation for a line in R2. Does this pass through the origin? Well, if it does, then I should be able to set this equal to 0, 0. And there should be some value of t that this works for. This gives me two equations. The first variable is 0 equal to 14 plus t4. The second one, 0 equal to 91 plus t times 26. If I solve this first one, I get negative 7 over 2 is equal to t. And if I solve this second one, I get the same thing, negative 7 over 2 is equal to t. So does this line pass through the origin? Yes, it does, since this value of t does actually exist. So here's a similar one. I want to know if the t exists such that 4, 3 is on the line. So I'll set it equal to 4, 3 and see if I can solve. The first coordinates give me 4 equal to 2 minus 7t. The second coordinates give me 3 equal to negative 5 plus 18t. Solving this one, I can subtract 2 from both sides to get 2 equal to minus 7t. So t will be equal to minus 2 over 7. Adding 5 to both sides gives me 8 equal to 18t, and dividing both sides by 18 will give me 4 over 9. So is this point on the line? No, it's not, because t can't be both 4 over 9 and negative 2 over 7 at the same time. This one wants to know if the two lines intersect. So instinct might tell you to just set them equal to each other and solve. And while you have the general idea right, we do have to make some changes. These two lines are going to intersect at a single point. The value of t in this first equation may not necessarily correspond to the same value of t for the second equation to get that same point. So instead of just setting them equal, I'm going to do 1, 4, negative 2, plus t times 3, minus 2, 5, needs to be equal to minus 2, 11, minus 11, plus s, 4, 7, 1, negative 1. And then we should solve, moving all the variables to one side and the constants to the other. I get t times 3 minus 2, 5, plus s times minus 4 minus 7, positive 1. And this should be equal to negative 3, 7, negative 9. So now we just need to put this in a matrix and row reduce. 
3 minus 2, 5, minus 4 minus 7, 1, minus 3, 7 minus 9. And this row reduces to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So this does not have a solution. So do these lines intersect? No, since no solution exists. If we were able to get a solution here, then yes, they would. So in general, let's consider two lines, u plus tv and w plus sv. We have three different cases. The lines are the same if and only if u minus w and v are multiples of z. So in the first case, we have that v is equal to some constant times z and u minus w is equal to a different constant times z. The second one, they're parallel and distinct if and only if v is a scalar multiple of c of v of z and u minus w is not a scalar multiple. So I kept the first condition but not the second. This is like saying that the slope is the same and the y-intercept is the same. Number two, the slope is the same but they have a different y-intercept. Three is what I just did. u minus w should be in the span. of the two vectors, z and v.